Welcome to Outdoor Empire where we do outdoor gear reviews and today I have two awesome sleep systems for backpacking from Zen Bivy. Zen Bivy makes these sleep systems they call it because it's not just a, it's not a sleeping bag but it's not just a quilt either. They kind of try to make the sleeping experience more like what you have at home and dare I say they've done a very fine job. So I'm going to walk you through each one of these what the differences are between the Zen Bivy bed, which we have here in green, and their light bed, which you have here in black. And these are the complete systems. So this is everything. If you get their whole complete Zen Bivy bed, you will have everything here and same for the light bed. So let's look at some of the differences. I've slept in these a number of nights this summer, and I'm going to be able to tell you a little bit about my experience as we go along. So let's dig into it. <laughs> All right, let's actually start with the accessories. Now, each of these, if you get the mattress, there is either the light mattress, or I believe they call that the flex mattress, if I'm not mistaken. But the, they both come with a bag. These are dry bags, which is really nice. And I found myself using it actually to go and retrieve water from the lake to go and put out a fire, things like that. But they also have a plug. They can be used as a pump, as you saw when I put these together. The downside of these is they're not like super light. I would say I'm not an ultralight hiker, but I do try to keep things lightweight. My pack, everything in it under 30 pounds. And so these definitely can fit into that category. There are lighter quilt systems and sleep systems out there than the Zen Bivy light bed and certainly than the Zen Bivy bed. Uh, but these are both great options and they're going to be lighter than uh, most just conventional backpacking sleeping bags. So the bag there, it also has, this is what, these are, this is an accessory you can buy um, if you wish for the quilt itself. Um, and it's also a dry bag type of bag that also adds a few ounces. So if you're an ounce counter, that won't be a good thing. And they have this little interesting thing that just push air out as you stuff the bag in. That's a feature that is, I guess, kind of neat. I don't know that it's necessary. The compression straps actually sell separately. Um, you can Velcro them on here like I have, but uh, anyway, they do their job if you like to use that kind of bag. Then of course it comes in a, a mesh bag that you can use for storage at home. And here's that little dinky bag for the light pillow, which is tiny and reasonably comfortable. I gotta say, we'll get to that. On the Zen Bivy bed, you have similar, a slightly larger bag that comes with that flex mattress. But I got to say, it was in there when it came, but getting it back in this sack is like uh, putting the genie back in the lamp or something like that. You're going to be so mad if you try to do it. So basically, not really worth it. The mesh bag is the same, a similar compression bag and dry bag system if you want it, and a slightly larger tiny sack for the, the light pillow, which just has a little bit more uh, girth to it. So there you have it on the accessories. Everything packs down pretty small. We'll try to put it some footage or a picture up. All right, so now we get to the actual beds. Starting with the Zen Bivy bed. Um, what the ba biggest differences between the two is the Zen Bivy bed has mostly zippers. The light bed has no zippers, it's all clips. The light bed also has a, a higher grade of down, which is lighter weight than the Zen Bivy bed. So the basic system though is a quilt that cinches at the bottom if you wish. This one has a zipper to go part way up, about a quarter or a third of the way up if you really want to sock those feet in there. But I usually sleep with my feet outside unless it's really cold. And so I like to unzip that most of the way while I'm sleeping at night. And I loved this one. And then you have zippers on the side which attach it to the sheet. And that's what's really neat about this is it's a very neat sheet. This sheet is luxurious. It feels like a sheet you might sleep on at home, but it has these edges. And the problem with quilts for a lot of people is that they're drafty. And this does a great job at eliminating a big chunk of those drafts simply by zipping that there, but it's attached to the sheet, which wraps around the, the sleeping pad. And by the way, these are compatible with non Zen Bivy sleeping pads. You don't have to get their pads. So I'll talk about that later. But once you're all zipped in, man, you can roll around all night long and it stays right on top. And that is fantastic. The other neat thing is it has this 
strap at the top or this little pull cord and what that does is when your head's all nestled in there that just cinches it around your neck not it's never going to choke you it doesn't go all the way around it's just right in the front it just kind of bunches that quilt material up right here and keeps it on you and and cuts out that draft from above very comfortable you can loosen it pretty easily as well and then the the sheet as part of the sheet you have this built-in hood almost like a mummy bag or a sleeping bag so if you like to warm your head up sometimes but not all the time then you can pull that over and i thought that was a great way to address the problem of a cold head is to be able to pull that over the pillow if you choose to use it and this is the, the quilted pillow and it has sort of a quilted little bit of a plush top to it as well as the inside which is this thin plastic and this is the same on the light pillow too if we just look at the differences here so same inside the only and this is actually whatever kind of plastic it is it's actually stretchy and flexible itself i found that to be awesome because it actually it acted a little bit more like a real pillow some of the inflatable pillows i've slept on i just couldn't do it because it it just it still feels hard no matter how much air you put into it or not and it just didn't sleep well these i did much better um, I really liked actually using both of them. I had both of them stacked up. That was kind of the perfect. So I would be willing to pack both of these around on a backpacking trip just to sleep better. The difference is the pillowcase. On the light, the light pillow, it is just this kind of um, soft fabric as you have on the sheet of the Zinbivi bed. It's not the same kind of typical sleeping bag nylon fabric that you get on the, um, uh, Zin, on the light bed. It's that softer one but it's not quilted that's the only difference but the two make a killer combo and they both pack down so small and they're so light all right so zen baby bed zippers it is a bit heavier just the quilt alone is not terribly heavier i mean it, again if you're an ultralight guy or something like that you're you're pro you're not going to go for the zen baby bed but if you're just looking to get a good night's sleep and you're a conventional backpacker or you're a, maybe a lightweight backpacker this could work the light bed could certainly work Oh, another little neat feature is they put right in, above in this hood just a little pocket, perfect for a headlamp so you know where it is all the time at night. I did use it that way. I should also say these come in a few different sizes. These are both the large 25 inch wide by 77 inch long size. Um, so those sheets will work most of the like 25 by 76 inch long or 75 inch long or whatever uh, sleeping pads out there if you choose to use a different sleeping pad. Um, but they 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 fit me great. I like the extra width myself as opposed to a little 20 inch um, I just sleep better at night. So uh, that's kind of the basics on the, the Zen bivy bed now going to the light bed The biggest differences again are no zippers. So what it has are these clips They're color-coded with nylon code So you know which one to hook where on the sheet But you have one two three that hook down on the lower part of the sheet and then you have this thin material now this isn't um, insulated at all, whereas it is on the Zen Bivy bed, but you have this thin material that just sort of attaches that quilt. Now it doesn't attach it, uh, and these work, they go on and off pretty easy. I also have an REI Magma backpacking quilt, um, very nice and lightweight, but uh, it doesn't, uh, the clips are impossible to fiddle with at night, and that's a really bad deal if you're trying to get up and answer nature's call. So anyway, I, I like the clips for what they are, but it does, there is a bit more of the fiddle factor to it compared to the Zen Bivy bed, it just has zippers that are quick and easy. But the zippers do add weight, so that's where they cut some weight. I like that they're color coded, so it's hard to get them misaligned. Um, and that's the same on, on both sides. And you can of course unclip those if you want your feet to be free. And there's a few other little clips here at the bottom if you wanna cinch up the bottom or if you wanna spread that quilt out and lay it flat, you can do the same. And that's the same on the, the Zen Bivy bed. You can open that, open that drawstring up and stick your feet right out if you wish. Um, the other differences are, so and it also has a hood like the Zen Bivy bed, so that's not that much different. And it is insulated, so that does provide some nice warmth. Again, it's lighter weight, uh, higher loft down in there. Um, it's still not the highest grade that you find in some of the really high-end backpacking quilts uh, But this is meant to be a comfort system. They're not necessarily going for super ultralight. All right, so don't 
judge it as that. This is just a really nice, comfortable, um, lightweight sleep system. And compared to any mummy bag I've ever tried to sleep in, which I don't do well in those because I'm a roller, I'm a turner, I spread my feet out. Um, this is the best night's sleep I've gotten on the trail backpacking. Um, so the sheet works similarly too. Just one little strap in the back. Uh, this is, uh, that's how it goes. But this material is not that soft, more luxurious feel on the as you have on the Zimbivy bed, on the light bed. It's that like sleeping bag material. Same as the quilt actually. Um, but it feels good and, it, and you sleep good on it. I like it. Let's talk just a bit about these mattresses. So there is the light mattress and there is this flex mattress. The flex mattress is a self-inflatable-ish um, and this is a, you gotta blow it, you gotta inflate it yourself. Now the bags that it comes with can be used to inflate it and it's kind of recommended so you just don't breathe in there and add moisture in there, which can build up bacteria over time. But um, I really like the light mattress. I do not like the flex mattress. And besides this one, we haven't used it a ton, less than 10 nights, I think. And uh, it, the last night I used it, it went flat. It must have a leak somewhere, a hole, who knows what, and we've treated it pretty gingerly. So um, that's kind of too bad, but it could just be a, a faulty one. So um, it is what it is. The price difference isn't huge. This one is a little more expensive, but this one, but they are both, what's unique about these compared to a lot of the others is they are both uh, very well insulated. I think they have a, uh, an R rating of, of five or something like that, which is gonna be, which is pretty darn good even for like three seasons potentially. Now I haven't slept on the snow or anything with this yet, so I can't really speak to that, but I have been in the, you know, high alpine with them and uh, slept at, at 11,000 feet in the summer, but when it's still darn cold at night and I was very warm, I never had any issues with being cold. This is the 25 degree system on both. These are available in a, a warmer synthetic version. It's also a bit heavier, uh, but for warmer weather. And then on the colder, like a 10 degree system. And those are obviously gonna be a little heavier and bulkier, but get you a little bit more wiggle room on the seasons. So um, yeah, I, I do, I really like how this goes on. Now, would I get the mattresses that I mentioned? I actually really love this light mattress. It's kind of on par with like a big Agnes or something. Uh, and in terms of like the comfort and the thickness, and I do like that extra thickness. This one just doesn't get as thick. Um, so I would definitely consider the light mattress and it's even a reasonable price, but I wouldn't do the flex mattress. But again, you could use these with, you know, a Nemo or a, a Sea to Summit or, uh, you know, wh whoever you like, you know, any of those, a Thermo Rest, whatever your favorite is, just get what you like. So my ideal, is if I don't mind packing the weight, and even when I'm car camping, I really like the Zen Bivy bed. It's just a little bit less to fiddle with, and that sheet is softer and more comfortable. Um, but the difference between the two and how well I slept is, is pretty minimal, so backpacking, I'll take the light bed. It does just shave a, especially with that mattress, you know, it, it just save, saves several ounces, if not a few pounds. So, um, and then ideally, you know, if you really wanna be comfortable, stack those two pillows up, the quilted and the light, and you'll be really happy. Um, but even one will do. Usually what I was doing when it was warm and I was at night or when I just first got in bed, is I sat that right on top of the hood and I didn't use the hood to stick my head in at all. Um, but obviously when it was colder, I could bring that right over top, lay it on my forehead and still have my face exposed, cinch this up around my neck. I mean, it was golden. So great systems, um, something you really ought to consider. Uh, I really liked them and I can recommend them. Oh, let me mention one thing about the quality here. So these are, I think they're very well made, but I made the mistake of letting my kids sleep in this. And of course they're not gonna treat things as gingerly. And I did end up with one little pole that came unstitched just a bit. So I'm gonna have to stitch that up again, but that's not a big deal. Zen Bivy customer service has been very responsive. Um, they're a small little outfit, small business. We have links in the description below if you wanna go check out the pricing. Uh, they're not the cheapest sleep systems out there by any stretch, but they are some of the most comfortable that I've ever tried, and you might like them too. Speaking of liking, if you like this video, show us by hitting that thumbs up button, 
consider subscribing to our channel for more gear reviews.